Hello everyone, I am Siddharthan. OpenAI has just released GPT OSS 120 billion and GPT OSS 20 billion version, two powerful open weight large language models under the Apache 2.0 license. Uh, these models are optimized for reasoning, tool use, and instruction following, matching uh, proprietary models like O3 Mini and O4 Mini in some tasks. So, both of these models are kind of mixture of experts' model. So, they use like specific number of parameters and not like all the parameters that they are say for example the gpt oss 120 billion has 117 billion parameters in total but it activates only 5.1 billion per token again using mixture of experts architecture whereas the gpt oss 20 billion model has 21 billion parameters but it activates only 3.6 billion parameters so the gpt uh, 120 billion version can run on a single 80 GB GPU whereas the OSS 20 billion version can run on 16 GB of GPU. So in this video we are going to understand how we can run these models in local using Olama. So we will be trying this with the 20 billion version but again the steps are pretty similar for uh, 120 billion model as well. So I don't have like a larger machine with that much amount of GPU so I'll be using RunPod. So RunPod gives these pods basically instances where you can access these GPUs at a much lower price compared to AWS and like other main cloud providers like Azure and all that. So I mainly use these for my personal personal projects and I want like a larger machine to run like open source models I'll be using that so they also have this uh, you know Jupyter lab thing so you can just like simply spin up their instance they have this inbuilt uh, Jupyter notebooks and lab environments within that you can just directly use there so in this uh, I've kind of like opened the terminal here and I've installed Olama so if you have not installed Olama you can download so if you are running it on let's say Mac OS or Windows you can download it or Linux you can just like run the curl command so this run pod uses Linux Ubuntu based environment so I've kind of like downloaded with the you know command line thing so after um, you know installing Olama so uh, I have to just like pull these models and I can like use this so let's see how we can do this so here uh, in Google search for Olama GPT OSS so that would take you to the GPT OSS page so here we see that we have the 20 billion uh, version model and the 120 billion model so you can see the quantities model as like smaller versions so we have 14 GB of size for 20 billion and 65 GB for 120 billion so here we have this run command right so first let's pull it and then we can like we can run this one so I'll copy the 20 billion version so I'll open my terminal over here that I have so okay so here I'm going to say Olama pull GPT OSS uh, you know 20 billion so this is going to download the model so the size is about as you can see 13 uh, GB is the size so once this is downloaded so let's run some questions some reasoning questions and you know see how the model is responding and uh, also we will try to you know load this in a Jupyter notebook using Olama library that we have in Python okay so that is what we'll be doing here again if you are using the 120 billion version model you can just like update the parameter details over here so that should do it so let's wait for this to complete so this is like a a5000 gpu so it's like slightly smaller so the size is 24 gb the, i'm running this on a 24 GB instance so it is not like you know the rtx 3090 is or like the faster model of nvidia gpu so this is like a uh, you know a series uh, a5000 so it's going to be a bit slower uh, okay so now we can run this so to run this model i can say olama or if you want to list the models that you have in your olama you can just say olama list but if you want to run this particular model right you can simply say olama run the name of the model that you see over here so it's gpt iphone oss colon 20 billion please adjust if the letters are not accurate so it's because of it's kind of like in a virtual environment thing so it's it's not very clear right now so i'm not sure how this is going to end up in video but let's see so here i'm running olama run gpt oss 20 billion so this will load and here you can just like directly send the questions and you can like get some answers so first i'll just like ask a question like you know write a poem about nature in thousand words just it can just send us like large amount of text let's see how it works later we can ask some you know reasoning based questions as this is mainly a you know reasoning model right so we can do that 
so as you can see it is uh, as this part of thinking which mostly like the you know reasoning model does so it basically tries to understand the user's input and then like it would come up with the final output so let's see how it is able to uh, you know work as you can see it's it's pretty fast like for this gpu but yeah that's a good thing but if you use like a better gpu so it would be like much faster if you want to like find how many tokens are generated per second so in this olamar and gpt oss you can also add iphone iphone verbo so that would give you like the details on the number of tokens generated and, and other you know intermediate details that you want to see so as you can see so we have asked it to generate a poem for like thousand words and it, it is kind of like working on it so i'm not going to go through this and all that so yeah let's wait for this to complete and we can just like run some uh, you know uh reasoning logical reasoning and then kind of kind of questions so that and see like how this is the thinking is happening and how the you know model is working so let's see it's still running yeah so similarly you can access this with python as well as i said so we will try that as well so in a jupyter notebook so we will install uh olama in python and then we would kind of like access this model and and you know we can run it there in the meantime i can also do a pip install olama okay it is also installed all right let's wait for this to complete it's it's pretty large and it, the model is like doing well with the output context as well so it also has like a good output window like the number of you know tokens for the output so it is also good so that's also a good thing let's see how many stands it's trying to build okay so now we have 10 stanza okay so it first thought and it's kind of like writing this again i don't have the patience for this i'm just going to you know stop it okay uh, this is a you can just like ask a question so you can simply run uh, you know uh, olamar and gpt oss and you can just like ask this question and it would give you that output so if you want to you know close this you can just say forward slash buy and it would like close olamar's you know running model so I'm going to run this again, Olama run GPT OSS, and I'm going to use kind of like a simple smaller question, kind of like logical and question that it needs to give like a logical answer. Let's see. So the the questions I just like asked Chat GPT. So one of the question was if Alice is older than Bob and Bob is older than Carol, who is the youngest? So you can just like and this it, it would kind of like think about it and and it, you know it kind of comes up with the answer and so on so it would say like you know these are the answer that i come up with so this is like one such example and and you can also kind of ask these multi-op reasoning questions so this is like one candidate that we can test here so the capital of the country that borders both germany and spain so it seems like uh you know france is between this so we are getting this capital as paris so you can just like test the you know how the model is working and see like how the responses are maybe in some cases uh, it may not give you the accurate or the right answers as this is not that big of a model compared to what you know the open ai as like the o4 o3s and all those things but yeah this is like pretty good for development and all those purposes so this is how you can access it on your local so now let's see how we can run these models uh, in a jupyter notebook environment using the olama library that we have installed so you can just do a pip install olama and make sure that you have installed the uh, model so we already did so i can just like close this one and open my notebook so here i'm going to write some code so i already have the code so i'll just like directly copy and paste it over here so let's understand the code so from olama we are importing this chat so to enable the model in a chat mode and from olama i'm importing chat response to you know uh, kind of like pass it through this model and get the output as we desire 
this content and all those things so we say response is a chat response object and it is equal to chat and within this chat that we have imported from olama we are passing the model name that is gpt oss and in the messages we are kind of passing this list which is role is user and we are saying that the content is why is the sky blue you can also add the answers and kind of have this as a conversation with the chat history and so on but this is like a simple example just import chat and chat response mention the model that you want to use and uh, just pass the message user and the user is asking why is the sky blue and you just like print the you know message content over here so let's see so this is a, also you can like access the messages and so on so like a couple of ways to do that so this is running in the meantime let's also uh, kind of do a streaming thing yeah so we got the output so here we have details as to you know the blue hue of the sky is a direct consequence of how sunlight interacts with molecules and so on so we get like a decent answer over here so it's it's present here and so on so it's typically answers just like our reasoning model would answer so yeah and then similar code similar these are like you know codes that are in olama documentation so it's not much complex it is also like the same question the only difference is that we have enabled this streaming so we don't have wait have to wait for this entire output to be you know printed so you can just like print it as stream so as the model generates the token as you have seen in this uh, you know terminal so here we are using this uh, chunk in the stream so we are enabling the stream is equal to true saving this output in this uh, stream variable and then we are printing it using a for loop let's see so when you print this it's going to stream the output instead of like printing it like all at once so this is a, as you can see so this is how you can do this so this is the way you can uh, run the GPT OSS model on local using Olama. So there are also other ways that you can try. So let's say if you don't have a uh, machine that has this much GPU, right? So the, as I said, the one that I'm running is 24 GB GPU machine. So if you don't have access to that, you can also try the model's performance and working with Grok as well. So Grok provides uh, access to the this particular model as well, both 120 billion and 20 billion. So you can try both of these so we have done several videos on how you can access the grok model so it's pretty simple just get their api key so their free tier should allow you to use the model so you can just like try that apart from that we also have like you know a, a way to use the model on hugging phase and other stuff but olama is like pretty simple to run it on your local to just have the open source model on your machine so this is how you can do this i'll share this particular notebook with you for your reference so you can just like try this out if you have access to this again you can check run pod it's not that kind of expensive but if you are using it right so please make sure that you are stopping the pods and the instances so that you don't you know uh, incur more cost in it but again if you have a company aws account organization account if they have some credits you can also like run on their ec2 sage makers and those places as well okay so that is all about this video so i'll see you in the next upload with more details about these models and other generative ai and, and ai related concepts uh, thanks for watching bye